Hi guys, do you want to learn about my project? So, my name is Audrey, and I would want to know what surfaces around the school have the most bacteria on them. So, since I was growing bacteria, I would have to have something that would actually make the bacteria grow. So, I was going to use, I was going to, I was using this powder, and with this powder, I mixed some water with it, and I put it in the microwave, which got me a gel. So with that gel, I put in each little dish. Then I had a Q-tip with the different bacteria from the different surfaces that I tested. And I got that Q-tip and I made a very light squiggle on the gel once the gel cooled. So then I put these dishes in a file cabinet to see how much bacteria would actually grow in each dish. So my hypothesis was that I thought the trash can would have the most bacteria because it's obviously the most dirtiest. So with then my results came and I found out that the trash can actually did have the most bacteria out of all of them. So the trash can got an eight out of ten. My the basketball that I tested got a seven. My my, my mouth which I tested got a six. The switch for lights in our classroom got a five. The fifth grade bathroom faucet got a seven, and one of the keyboards in our classroom got a six. So from this experiment, I actually learned a lot. And one of the things that I learned was that your parents are actually right when they tell you to wash your hands. Because you never know how much bacteria can be on your hands. So some things that actually surprised me were that since I had to do this experiment three times to actually get something to grow. So this was the third experiment was this one, which I did, and which you can see these dishes. So it was kind of weird to do three experiments, but at least something happened. So any questions?